My mom 58F forced me 25F to break up with my new boyfriend 25M again and I need advice in what to do now. I was dating someone until yesterday when my mom spent hours arguing trying to force me to end things with him until I ended giving up after weeks of arguing and emotional distress and exhaustion. I was dating him for almost two months but we already knew each other before. Everything was going well until I assumed to my mom he was my boyfriend then she automatically switched for being okay with us hanging out to being extremely strict with everything I did. Not go to his house for example, and mean to him every time they saw each other. I'm devastated, laying in my bed all day crying without talking with anyone since yesterday. Emotionally exhausted because this is not the first time my mom did this, she did the same with my ex-boyfriend until after three months dating we broke up because my boyfriend couldn't take her strict and mean behavior anymore. I can't do anything because I still live together with my mom at her house. I'm trying to save money to be able to move back to my homeland because I never intended to stay in the country I am but I did because she and my brother forced us all to stay seven years ago. Please someone give me some advice because I am so tired of not being able to even choose who I want to love and hang out. I want to marry someday or just feel happy for loving and be loved back but how am I supposed to do so when every time I start dating my mom will keep forcing me to break up or make the guys break up with me? My post is a total mess and I apologize for it but I am in a complete mess right now as well. Edit. I and my family comes from Brazil and we are living in Scandinavia right now, my father's homeland, he died 21 years ago. Update, I ended up arguing again with my mom yesterday and she slapped me several times and insulted me. Now I'm hiding my phone so she won't take it away. Last update, I have decided to stay until I have saved up some money and leave to my homeland to restart my life again. I will have one last talk with my boyfriend, now ex, because I don't want this situation to continue and hurt him anymore as well. DLDR, my mom forced me to break up with my current boyfriend by phone and I don't know how to handle the situation anymore. This relationship between you and your mother keeps you from growing up and acting like an autonomous person. While you are legally and biologically an adult, it seems like her treating you like a child all the time has kept you from truly growing up. How's the situation at home, is it just the two of you? Are there other family members that treat you more like an equal and adult? Moving out will help, but there are probably some life skills you will need that you don't simply gain by being on your own. Setting boundaries and dealing with the negative emotions, your own and those of others. When you enforce these boundaries are examples of these skills. I think help from outside, whether from a professional or from level-headed friends or family is important. Do not let your mother isolate you like this, but keep in touch with people and maintain friendships and relationships as much as will probably have to live with your mom for a little while longer. Try to avoid getting drawn into emotional discussions, they are useless and will drain you. She is trying to control you by controlling who you can see and when. But she cannot actually control you. She cannot physically keep you home or prevent you from seeing people. You still believe she can, but actually it is you making that possible for her to do. I know it is way easier said than done to just make your own choices, but at least reflect on the role you have taken on, that of the child, to be bossed around and punished when you disobey and see if you can start seeing yourself in a different way. See where you have choices and if you can change how you make them. This might sound mean, but you made the choice to hurt your boyfriend, and yourself, to appease your mother. It may not have felt like a choice, but it can help if you look at it like it was. Now, I don't suggest going full into teenage rebellion mode. It will just be more drama and worst case, you find yourself homeless. But try to push the boundaries a bit, not with the goal of winning but as a way of practicing your autonomy. Start making choices you want to make. It seems like she'll scream and bully you anyway, might as well do things you actually want to do. What will happen if you just go to his house? 
Your mom can't keep you as a prisoner. You're 25 and can do whatever you want. I get that if it's her house and she doesn't want you two to sleep in one bed, okay her house her rules. But you're a full grown adult and should be treated like one. Stop telling her everything that is going on with your life. If you have a boyfriend see him and don't tell her what you're up to. They don't need to meet her in the beginning anyways two months or whichever and someone who is decent would understand a situation where your mother is overbearing and interferes with your don't need to stop dating but stop telling her your business. Keep details simple. You're meeting a girlfriend and such or going out with friends. Don't introduce her to people anymore and shut her out. She is feeding off your life. Get financially stable to move out, maybe move in with roommates to make it easier. Rent would be a lot cheaper this way. Story time, starting in late 2018, I started dating a girl who still lived with her mother. At the time she was 25. I had just turned 30, had been living on my own for years, had a professional job, etc. We dated for a year. At which point her mother found a Valentine's Day note I had written to her. She had been keeping me a secret for the entire year. We dated for three years total but she refused to separate herself from her mother and ultimately ruined the relationship. A word of advice, if you let her, your mother will control your life and it would be difficult to find many people who would be willing to put up with that. At some point, you may have to choose between her and a relationship. It sucks, I know. I'd like to introduce the concept of lying, you don't have to tell your mother everything, you're an out. Get roommates. Go be happy and in love if that's what you want. So when are you going to stand up to her and not let her walk all over you? Even though you live with your mother, does not mean she can dictate who you are dating. You are a 25 year old grown woman. The only thing your mother can do is kick you maybe you need to look at living with some roommates to afford housing. I lived with my parents until I was 24 and they had zero say in who I dated. You said your mom can take your phone is she still paying for your phone or do you? If you pay for the bill, your mother cannot touch your phone or take it away from you. Just because she is your mother does not mean she gets to control you. As you are a legal mom sounds abusive and you should consider getting out of there ASAP. You're 25 years old. Basically you need to get back together with your boyfriend and tell your overly controlling mother to kick rocks. If she won't support your relationship I'd cut off contact for a while. Ma'am, you're 25 years old. Despite what we're brainwashed to parent can't control who you date at all and living under her roof doesn't mean that she can dictate your life. Do yourself a favor and keep him away from your house. You don't need to sit around the house with him all day for the relationship to be valid. Leave the house to hang out with him then come back home when you're done. I don't know what trauma of negative life experiences your mom has endured but clearly she is controlling or protective in the most unhealthy way possible. She is scared to lose you and has never accepted the fact that you are not her little child anymore since you seemingly allow her behaviors to dictate how you operate as a new phrase to her should be mom. I don't want to talk about that when she crosses the line into your personal business. If you don't start standing up to her and demanding respect as an adult, before you realize it, you'll end up 45 years old. Still living in her house, still single and back on Reddit posting about the 10th boyfriend that she forced you to break up with. Op, you are a legal adult. You mother cannot forbid you from leaving the house. You need to stand up to her or she will always be like this. There will never be a BF she likes slash approves of. She will continue to do exactly what she's doing now arguing you down to emotional exhaustion and giving in and she will keep doing this because it works, because you can't or won't stand up to like the adult you are. Stand up for yourself. Leave if she won't leave you alone. You can't keep acting like a child and expect to be treated like an adult. You're 25 years old. You're an adult. Act like an adult. My mother tried to break up my marriage and take my child at 39. The control never stops until you walk away. Exactly. 
No grown adult wants to get serious with a 25-year-old still living under their parents' thumb. I've decided to focus in becoming financially independent first even though I'm already working and trying to find a better job, then I can live alone with my own space. Is that the only solution? Up as someone who grew up with an abusive parent you need to know she can't actually force you to stay since you're a legal adult. The only hold she has over you at this point is what you think she has over you, which says to me she has done what she intended and broken you down. Find a trusted friend and stay with them she can't force you to come back. Greater than I'm prohibited to go to any person's house, even my friend's house and be outside after 10 p.m. Depending on where you live, this is against the law. You can't keep an adult somewhere against their will. That is actually illegal in most Scandinavian countries. In Sweden it is Olegoff Ryetsborovand. What if you did? What would be the consequences? You're no actually prohibited from doing anything, you're an adult, you can decide for yourself. Your home situation sounds abusive, could you escape to a local woman's shelter until you can get yourself on your feet? Get in contact with your boyfriend, tell him everything. Ask him if he still wants to go through this. Ask him whether you can stay with him. If he says yes, then take everything you own and all important documents, like birth certificate etc., with you and move out and cut contact with your mother and brother. It is a lot easier said than done, of course. And it is still a bit risky, but it seems that it is much better that your abusive family. Don't wait. They will start to invent things, so you will never be financial independent. You are 25. An adult. You understand she cannot force you to stay, right? Gather up identifying papers if possible. If not possible, leave, then go to local authorities and say she is withholding your ids. Contact BF. Ask if you can stay. If not, see if there are organizations that help abused women leave nearby, because, Unfortunately, you qualify as one. You need an income and a place to stay. If you have an income, it needs to be in a private bank account your mother does not have access to. No you're not prohibited. Your mother has made you think that you are. You are 25 years old and a grown woman. You need to tell your mother to shove it. What would actually happen if you broke the rules? Your mom doesn't want to kick you out, she wants to maintain control. Start pushing the envelope and stop giving her information about your private life. Be vague about what you're doing and the people you're meeting. Argue to get your curfew pushed back to at least midnight. Get rid of the tracking app without telling them. Don't do this all at once, and center your arguments around something your mom can agree with. Meanwhile, bid your time and save up to leave. You are 25. Move out, get a job and live your own life. Yes, because your mother is abusive and controlling and you need to create space between the two of you as quickly as possible. She's never going to relent, why should she? She gets everything she wants, 